A while back, I used to be a server at this place called Bennigan's. If you're a server, you know that Sunday mornings are not your favorites. The church crowd can ironically be kind of rowdy, demanding, plus they don't tip, usually. So one Sunday, my table was about to leave and the man that was there got up and asked me, If I give 10% to God, why should I give you a penny more than that? I honestly wasn't in the mood to deal with this that morning, so I just gave him a blank look and said, I only make two fifteen an hour. You don't have to tip me anything. It's completely up to you. It's always optional, but you don't have to do anything. So then he reached into his pocket and pulled out a dime and placed it on the table and left. I just shrugged and kept going, but luckily for me, the table that was next to his saw what happened and they left me a, a pretty good tip. And just to let you guys know, at most restaurants when you tip, the whole thing doesn't go to just the server. Usually we have to split it up between the busser, the bartender, sometimes like the hostesses and the expo. Just keep that in mind. One of my first jobs at 16 was I used to work at one of those like Chinese express food places, kind of like Panda Express, you know? Uh, the, the, the kind of places that would always yell at you to come get samples. So yeah, that, that was my job. I was a really shy kid back then, so when I worked, the manager would always elbow me and tell me to be a lot louder, be more aggressive. So I'd just be like, so samples, samples, D does, does anybody want samples? And then he'd snatch it out of my hands. I'm like, no, like this, get your samples, samples here, orange chicken, very good. Long story short, they ended up firing me. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I knew it was going to be hard and I knew it was going to take a long time. When I calculated it out, it was supposed to take 18 hours of animating, but yeah, I just don't have that kind of time. And it's not even, it wasn't even that long of a video. I had to cut it down to two stories instead of the three. So, I just couldn't do it. I was starting to lose motivation and inspiration to finish it, so I decided to just cut my losses and then just show you guys what I got. I mean, it's not even that impressive, you know what I mean? It's, it's really crude and it's, I don't know. I can see why animation channels like Jaden and The Odd Ones Out and a whole bunch of other ones why they only upload once a month or once every two to three months because it takes a lot of time so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine my scrapbook animation with a little bit of this animation and just just try to break it up a little bit more to make it more interesting and compelling to watch but anyways I don't know let me know what you think and um, yeah thanks for uh, Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time.